ever found an old stack of records and wanted to get those into your iPod, iPhone, or even your computer? Well, I'm Philip Nelson, and I'm going to show you how. How many times have you found an old record like this awesome G.I. Joe Mystery of Spy Island and dreamed of getting that into your MP3 player? Well, with the ION ILP, within a few button presses, you'll have digital backups of all your old vinyl. The ION ILP retails for $99 and includes the free Easy Vinyl Tape Converter software for your mobile device, iPad, iPhone, iPod, PC or Mac, and there are no drivers to install. So let's take a look at bringing some music into our iPad. So the first thing we're going to do is we have the software installed on our iPad. I have my sweet Spider-Man Mark of the Man Wolf 45, and the Ion ALP has a uh, iPod dock. So when you're digitizing from an iPad, you're actually expected to have this turntable connected to a receiver so that you can actually hear it through your speakers. So you're not going to hear it through the iPad, but I still want to show you the process. So if I want to create a new recording directly on my iPad, I just simply hit the record button. It walks you through Get Connected. Begin by connecting your audio device to your iPad, which I've just done. I hit Next, and I tell it it's a turntable, and now I'm going to play the record. So. I'm just going to drop it down and you'll actually set your audio level. So we're, here we're just doing a quick test and we can adjust our audio level to make sure it's not too loud. And then when we're ready to record, we just hit the giant red record button and we are now making an MP3 of Spider-Man, the Mark of the Man Wolf. So, you know, when we're done, we hit done, and it actually gives us an option to name this, name the artist, name the album, and then we can go on to the next song or we can hit done, and we have an MP3. Now let's jump over to my Mac, and I'm going to show you how to actually bring in your music to your Mac. So when we launch Easy Vinyl Tape Converter on the Mac, it's a very simple interface. It tells us welcome. We hit next. And once again, we're going to set our levels, so if I start the turntable, and I'm actually recording side two of Spider-Man, Mark of the Man-Wolf. So, oops. So we're going to drop our needle, and we're going to set our levels. And in the computer version, it actually comes out of your computer speaker, so we can actually hear this awesome book and record set. And we set our level, and once we, once we have our level set, I'm going to lift the needle again, start it over, get back to the beginning, I'm going to hit record and drop the needle. And it's going to now record side two of Spider-Man, Mark of the Man-Wolf. You know, one thing that's really neat about this is that a lot of these records you can find at garage sales for 50 cents or a dollar, and you can have amazing content. You know, where else are you going to find books like Do Not Speak to Strangers with Barney the Bear for just one dollar? And uh, once you record this in, you can hide the record, put this music on your iPad or iPod for your child, and they can go along and follow along in the book with the book and record. The ION ILP retails for under $100, and it's a great solution if you're trying to back up your dad's old vinyl or even to rekindle some of those childhood memories with G.I. Joe and those book and records you loved. If you like this review, give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Give us some comments. In fact, just tell us what your favorite old book and record was. We'd love to know. Check back with Geek Beat TV for more great shows and awesome product reviews. I'm Philip Nelson. We'll catch you next time.